Respect for the national will has been the theme of the Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's addresses to his supporters in Istanbul and Ankara. The Prime Minister vows that the people of Turkey protect their democracy and willpower. The willpower of protesters in Istanbul today, however, displays a different view that has been evident since the early days of the protest over the government's plan to demolish Gezi Park in favour of a commercial venture. The issues are more deep-cutting than Desi Park. Today, at this point, the world is clearly witnessing how Turkey's people have come face to face with their dictatorial regime and the dictatorial identity of Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Anti-government protesters chanted slogans against the AK party supporters as they are transported by ferry to the leaders' rally in Zeytinburnu. Ferries from Kadukoy on the Asian shore of the Bosphorus Strait are redirected to Kabatash on the European shore, instead of the scheduled Besiktas route. But anti-Erdogan slogans reverberate unabated. Riot police await the multitudes of protesters wherever they gather, to the ready with tear gas, rubber bullets and armoured vehicles. Our struggle will continue, but maybe in a different form. This cannot be stopped. It may just take different forms. The resistance will continue in its current form, but we will undoubtedly expand it into different forms. Mr. Erdogan's opponents ridicule his speeches, saying that these don't represent any surprises as he continues to defend the sincerity and the goodwill of his party's objectives. The Prime Minister also accuses the CHP of assisting the protesters, whom he refers to as terrorists. Government of the AKP uh, will be gone from Turkey, uh, I think. And this, the, the protesters uh, want their freedom, and protesters uh, want, uh, don't want uh, AKP government. The protesters are unanimous about their perspective that Gezi Park only marked the beginning of a list of grievances. For now, it seems increasingly difficult to strike a resolution between the government and the protesters. Everyone is waiting for that resolution. Verenia Keat, Press TV, Istanbul.